Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, yes, so hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Alan. So thanks for, uh, Peter invite me to give a presentation, uh, here. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, Alan, uh, and uh, my presentation is, uh, the evaluation of the data modeling in the uh, polygon persistent storage environment. Uh, yes, from, from Beijing, from China. So, uh, let me introduce myself first. Um, yeah, so I'm based on the Beijing, so this uh, presentation is, uh, yeah, pretty global, so, uh, because, um, uh, yes, I'm living here, living here, uh, so I have uh, 15 years experience in the data modeling, uh, that's why I, I know the, the Peter and, uh, uh, to share my experience here. Uh, and also, I'm the technical uh, evangelist, so shared some some uh, uh, some aged technical uh, with the university or some some uh, industry in the industry co conference. Uh, and also, I'm backpack backpacker, so travel around the world. Uh, yeah, so some talk for for for, for myself. Uh, here is uh, some of my um, pro professional uh, background. So first is um, I'm a DataBlow uh, CEO and founder. Uh, so DataBlow is a, a staff, staff company. So um, it's a, we are focused on the data modeling and the data governance. Uh, because my my back, background is I have been working for the uh, CA technology uh, for a product name is a uh, Yar uh, um, Urban. So that is um, uh, like the the first uh, product uh, in the data modeling market. So my responsibilities are for the uh, urban development uh, uh, director in the global. Uh, so leading the team uh, for for the urban development. Uh, the, uh, um, include the, the uh, relational data based modeling and uh, uh, some some big data research product. Uh, before the CC technology, I'm working for the Microsoft uh, uh, the Microsoft Dynamic uh, product line, and also it's working for the Petro China ERP product. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm the, some uh, visiting professor in the Fudan University and uh, the Beihang University. Um, yes, yeah, so since I'm backpacker, so, so I've been uh, travel around the world. It's uh, uh, 50 countries. Yes, include the Asia, Europe, African, uh, North American, South American. Yeah, so the the pinpoint is I've been here. Uh, yeah. Also, it's uh, uh, my 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 residency is uh, just beside the Forbidden City. So yeah, here is uh, the picture from from the outside uh, in the in the uh, winter. Yeah, so here is the Forbidden City. Uh, pretty pretty pretty. Yeah, so once you have uh, some opportunity coming to China, take some internship or take some uh, full time employee. You uh, if anything, I can get get help. Yeah, you can contact me. Uh, so I will share my email and the LinkedIn uh, in the in the last uh, latest slide. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the the Beijing city area. So my my office is in here. Uh, yeah, high tech or financing is uh, a lot of company here. Uh, yes, yeah, so here is uh, the some background introduce uh, about myself. Um, and to introduce uh, the, the, the today topic is um, uh, because um, uh, there have a lot of uh, uh, high tech companies uh, grow uh, grow sharply in, in China. Uh, they are using the some uh, edge technical. Uh, just li uh, list some top company here like the Baidu, Alibaba, uh, Tencent, and the Huawei. Uh, yeah, since they are using the some edge technical, so we have uh, some opportunity to share uh, what is the our edge uh, uh, some some vision uh, for the some new technical. Um, yes, yeah, so here is uh, some uh, typical case. It's uh, like the the shopping holiday. 
呃、uh, ，we we call it is a double eleven, double eleven, uh, from from Taobao, uh, Alibaba company, uh, like the Black Friday, it it is that the Chinese Black Friday, uh, so such as uh the in the last year, so uh uh it's a crazy, it's a the the deals is a going very quickly, it's a within the twenty and twenty four hours, uh, so in the first fifteen seconds. 15.5 seconds, so there have had 100 million US dollars deal is done uh, in the in the online system, and uh, in the in the five six minutes, so there have a 1 billion US dollar is a uh, is a uh, uh, processed in the system. Uh, so eventually, uh, in the uh, 24 hours, there have a uh, 35 billion US dollar is. Uh, is done uh, during the Chinese Black Friday uh, in the Taobao uh, uh, dot com website. Uh, so during this uh, very strong requirement uh, from from China market, so therefore technical is a, is a, a coming and uh, going to the metro. Uh, yeah, so you can see the system capability is uh, uh, eight, eighteen thousand orders per per second in the peak time. Yeah. So how uh uh what what kind of technical how the system uh, building can uh, support this kind of a uh, uh, requirement, right? Yeah. Also, it's a, uh, some uh, Chinese Uber. Yeah, you can uh, see the, the quite similar with the Uber. You can order the, the taxi from the from the your uh, mobile app. And uh, this is uh, the uh, some Chinese inno innovation uh, is uh, the online investment. Uh, you can put your your uh, uh, money into a, a, a mob mobile app. Uh, the, the, uh, within the uh, one day, you will uh, uh, obtain some uh, re uh, investment renting. Uh, the interest is based on the daily base. Uh, yeah, so there's there's some uh, innovation uh, coming out with the technical and the, the Chinese market requirement. Also, is that the uh, UAV, uh, like the, the DJI, they are uh, uh, manufacturing some uh, UAV and generate the data not only for the uh, lo logist, uh, but also some manufacturing and the, the, the warehouse. Uh, widely to use in the market. Uh, all seen is uh, based on the data, some technical data, right? Uh, so, so let's be uh, in, uh, enter to the to the today topic. So, uh, for the for the data for the technical uh, about database. So in the traditional so uh, relational database is um, uh, widely used, but and the, almost the only option for 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 the data process, and the, like this picture, it is a uh, like the switch knife uh, can handle the everything, but uh, uh, like we we are introducing the before, uh, there are uh, the, some uh, strong requirement, some uh, uh, some requirements is changing so. So, uh, in some case, the relational database is not work, uh, and need some some new technical to uh, come in to to solve this kind of uh, scenario. Uh, yeah. So so the no circle or somebody is also call it a new circle is coming. Uh, yeah. So the no circle wave is coming. Uh, it is a try to think out. Uh, 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 the scalability, scalability problem, and also it the schema flexibility problem. Uh, let me intro, uh, explain that one by one. For the scale out, yes, of course, uh, uh, in the traditional, it's a, everything is centralized. Uh, you need the uh, by some very strong uh, machine or mainframe. Once your your system is an, uh, have a thousand uh, uh, request per per second, but then uh, like the Google or Facebook, they are, they are, uh, uh, introduce some new uh, innovation, some new new uh, new technical. Also, it is that the change in the mind is a skill out. So you can uh, 
distribute your system to the multiple uh, uh, machine, uh, let it uh, scale out. Also, it's um, uh, uh, the 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 web stuff yes we will also mention and they are not care uh, not very sensitive for the ACID uh, special especially the consistency yeah make sure uh, your uh, update is um, uh, sync up to the every every point that is um, uh, like the banking business. If you transform your money from your account to another account, you make sure uh, this uh, uh, execution is a success for the two st steps. But for the web web company website, is a not not very sensitive, very uh, critical for this kind of uh, uh, scenario. So uh, this is uh, the the uh, fundamental reason uh, for the no circle wave, yeah, scale out and the schema flexibility. Yeah, so some uh, typical vendor like the MongoDB, uh, HBase, and the Cassandra, uh, this is uh, some typical uh, the no circle database vendor. Um, yeah, so that is uh, the scale out. So in the traditional, that is uh, the scale up. You, once you, 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 you need to process more uh, requests, you have to increase your server size. But now it's a, a more small server, right? Uh, in the scale out uh, uh, architect. architect. Um, yes, this uh, uh, statistic uh, number is uh, maybe uh, not the uh, latest, but uh, it uh, re reflect the trend. Uh, in the in the 2012, so uh, no circle is still not uh, uh, accepted by, by mostly people. But in the 2013, uh, it's a change change a lot. So mostly people is um, not saying say no to the no circle uh, to replace their, uh, their their data warehouse. Yeah. So uh, yeah, recently in I think in, in the last two years, a uh, lot of people is talking about the data leak. Yeah, so so the concept, the basic concept is that you you don't need to care about uh, uh, how to use the data, but you you, you need the storage the data uh, uh, to to your to your data leak. After them, you can uh, building up your data mart or data pong uh, for some specific data analytic uh, cases. Um, yeah, there are some technical, uh, so how to uh, uh, work, make the skill out work uh, in technical. Uh, yeah, so uh, the, there uh, have a lot of uh, the server, small server, to replace the strong server, one, one single strong server. So they are uh, uh, building a, a chain in, 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 the, in the right, right cycle, right? So once you have other, uh, the query coming, so the query will be uh, broadcast, broadcast the query to the chain, to the cycle. So does this really take up a significant amount of bandwidth to do the broadcasting? So you're doing that Sorry, right Peter? now? Uh, can I repeat again? Is using this broadcast to the each of the nodes to yeah. search for the information. What is the impact on the network I/O and the return back of the information? Uh, yeah. So so that is that the I think the, your 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 question is that about the CAP. Uh, once the network is not working, you need to have a two choice. So first one is a. Uh, uh, high av availability, you you can uh, choose the availability is um, uh, you you may get some wrong answer because the network between the node is uh, is no is a disconnected. Um, you you may uh, return the the data with some uh, inconsistent data, and another another choice is that you 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 don't. You don't answer it. Don't, you don't respond uh, the query until until the the network is, is a recover and you will get the uh, consistent answer. 
Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so in this case, as um, um, yeah, bro broadcast uh, query and uh, each uh, work node is uh, uh, run execute the query in their local uh, local storage and uh, uh, return the out re return the result and in the uh, 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 query side they will aggregate the result. Uh, yeah, so in the very beginning, the new new circle is coming. So the first uh, database is like the uh, first column is a key value, uh, key value. So everything is a pretty sim sim uh, simple. Uh, you just have a one ID and the the content of the, this uh, this uh, the row of data. Uh, after then, uh, the, some more requirement for the key value database. They are generated the older key value database. Yeah, so uh, not only the, the key and the value, but also it's a still have the, the link between the key. Uh, it could be linked between the uh, and build the relationship between the different uh, the, the raw data. After them, they, they want to more. So 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 they are coming the big table. That is coming from Google. Uh, the data structure and the uh, the there have the uh, structure is uh, uh, generate from the, the the value not only the the key yeah so make the date format is more complex uh, and after them so the some more complex uh, databases are uh, uh, grow growth like the document database uh, MongoDB or Cassandra yes column family database. Uh, and some more, uh, uh, for some special specific uh, case, uh, uh, there are some graphic database is a uh, help for the for the like the uh, Ura, uh give some uh, uh, optimize for the uh, graphic the uh, uh, calculation. So, so the data structure is a uh, uh, return back to like circle. Yes, everything is uh, 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 closing to the relation, relation and the entity, right? So this is uh, the the, gen, uh, the the history for the North Circle database. Yeah, so basically they have about uh, five uh, basic uh, uh, type uh, North Circle database type, key value, order key, key value. Yes, yeah, the, the typical key value databases are like like the Redis. And the older key value, big table, big table, yes, the Google tab, uh, big table is one of the famous. You can uh, check the Google paper uh, for, for their uh, some detail, technical detail. And uh, for the document, yes, MongoDB is uh, the, uh, one of the uh, typical data product. And the graphic database is uh, like the new 4 uh, database. Um, yeah, so from, uh, regarding this uh, kind of uh, five or four uh, NoSQL database, so you can see the in the key value story, that is a uh, have uh, the most uh, uh, scalability, but uh, uh, they can only only uh, express uh, very simple the uh, content of data, right? Just the, like the binary, but. Uh, uh, let it uh, have uh, the, the uh, best scalability, and then you need the choice uh, according to the according to the, your requirement to balance uh, the scalability and the model com complexity. Complexity, right? Mm. Yeah. So here is uh, the uh, Gartner uh, uh, Magic Credit uh, for the data management solution for the analytics. Uh, you can see uh, the vendor is uh, uh, located in this uh, this diagram. So Oracle, Maker, Microsoft, the uh, server, uh, IBM DB2, and Tower Data still is uh, the, the leader in this um, uh, in this graphic. Uh, and uh, yeah, there have some uh, cloud database vendor is here, like the Amazon. Uh, but you can see there are a lot of sub, uh, more and more uh, no circle database vendor is in here, like the uh, MemorCircle, uh, MarkLogic, uh, Google, yeah, 
and uh, also have uh, some uh, Chinese vendor like like the Huawei, uh, Alibaba, and the GBase, yeah. And new 4G is at the graphic big base. Yeah. So basically, it's a yeah. So currently, the uh, uh, database market is not only the relational database. More and more, uh, no circle uh, the vendor is coming. Uh, also, include the, some cloud database. Yeah. This is the trend. Okay. I think uh, I introduced the technical background for for the uh, what is a changing uh, for the. Uh, no circle database. Uh, Can I just, uh, so, Alan, so, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. But if you go mm -hmm. back to the previous slide, sure. In the leadership quadrant, the, the majority of those analytics solutions are still based upon an enterprise data warehouse and um, relational technology, right? Mm hmm. And yeah, so mostly the vendor is that they are still is the relational database because I think the uh, from from my ob observation uh, in the China market is um, uh, because mostly the enterprise they are still uh, not have uh, the uh, huge data need have to use the no circle database. Yeah, mostly they are still in the uh, gigabyte level. It's not a P PB level. So, so, so the relational relational database still can handle in the TB level. Yeah, like the 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 Oracle, Microsoft, or Terra data. So that is a good enough uh, for them uh, in this case. But in the future, I think if if they are still uh, make the data volume to 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 go into the T level, they have to consider some uh, like the cloud database or no so called. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so let me, uh, to enter the next session is about uh, the data management. Um, yeah, so actually the data management, we, we have uh, introduced some uh, unstructured data and uh, regional data. That, that is uh, actually it's in, the, in, the, in the bottom level, uh, in the physical level, is um, how we can leverage the technical uh, to storage the data, but from the the, the company uh, perspective, that is uh, not easy. Yeah, because uh, they have uh, hundreds uh, IT system, and each IT system is a build building by different history. Maybe uh, 20 years ago, they are, they are building the IT system, uh, but also it's a by different vendor. They choose different uh, database technical. Some vendor they choose DB2. Some vendor they choose Oracle. Uh, so so make the uh, enterprise uh, the data architecture is uh, too complex. Um, yeah, they have a different uh, database technical. They have a different uh, data data schema design uh, style. Um, yeah, so 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 that's why there have uh, some uh, uh, specific data management uh, area. So that's why uh, there was a, a very big market for data management. Yeah. Uh, so in in this case, so we will go to the uh, second level is that the uh, data data assert inventory. Yeah, and the data integration and the metadata. Uh, I suppose everyone uh, have some basic concept for the for the metadata, so I uh, will not uh, uh, explain too too many about uh, the metadata. But um, uh, yeah, that is how I just uh, give a very uh, simple explain that the, the data of the described data. Yeah, such as um, uh, you have a car. So what 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 is the car color, and what is the car engine right? like? Right, like some uh, the 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 uh, basic type of the data. Uh, so so for once you have uh, the physical data story here, and second is uh, you have uh, the data inventory metadata to describe the, what is the physical data and what is the. Uh, uh, the, the, the category for, for of the, the, those kind of data. After them, so in the uh, third third level is uh, the master data. So such such as some uh, custom or you are uh, the company vendor list. Uh, some, something uh, we call it the golden data. 
that is a uh, because uh, that is uh, the common uh, data from your multiple systems such as uh, uh, you, you have uh, the uh, ERP system use the SAP and you have uh, the uh, CRM system uh, such as Salesforce.com. So every system they have uh, the uh, 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 same concept like the custom. So custom is the much data. So you have a uh, uh, some some. Uh, uh, you have uh, to, uh, to try some master data solution to manage the master data to the single uh, point, uh, connect with a different IT system. Um, yes, of course, uh, they have uh, the data warehousing, uh, BI, uh, the big data analytics, data quality, yeah, and the data architect, data modeling of the scene is a facility, uh, your um, uh, physical database, and how to translate the, the physical database to the business scenario, uh, and, be, be, and the, the data analytics. Yeah, so, so you need to uh, uh, use the uh, metadata and the data architect data modeling to describe the, uh, uh, each uh, uh, data items uh, in the in the database in the in the your each table each column. Uh, what is the, their logical name? What is uh, their physical name? And what is uh, the their data type? What 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 is uh, their data standard using? Yeah. Um, yeah, so once you have a, a in the uh, three three tier fundamental, you can uh, do the data governments, uh, include the people, uh, process, policy, and culture. So, um, so all everything uh, for the data governments is uh, to support the the, the, the company in this strategy, and the data uh, the data strategy is uh, aligned with the business strategy. Uh, that is a uh, how how uh, the big um, uh, enterprise they are run their IT archetype uh, for for the data structure. Um, yeah, so they also have uh, some um, uh, another uh, maybe principle or the approach for for the data data management. Yeah, in this um, uh, data approach, is uh, the data governments uh, contain the data ownership, data state worship, data quality, and for the management, it uh, includes the repository, data metadata repository, uh, data standard, data process, and for the data architect, include the concept of data model, logical data model, physical data model. Yeah, there have uh, the three or four four tier. For describe to you your your data the data items from the three tiers, and in the data management service definition, yeah, of course include the transformation integration, yeah, how uh, uh, you you can translate your your data from the O O lab O O lab to the O O uh, R T P to the O R A P, yeah, for the data analytics. Yeah. Alan, I just want to say. This data governance is at an enterprise level. It's at the enterprise level for the business. It's not departmental. It's a standard across all of the departments within a business, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you are right. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. So actually, it's a too complex for 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 the enterprise. Uh, the uh, at landing the data governments, yeah, they they need the they need the facilitate, they need tools, they need the policy to landing the the data governments, and I learned the, the the business strategy. Um, yeah, this is a, another uh, data governor, governor uh, some new technical uh, cover covers. Uh, uh, Yes, we can start from the uh, right side. Right side is that uh, some product is uh, going to uh, mature, uh, like the data quality, data virtualization is uh, already talking about for, for several years. And um, it's uh, going to the productivity. And uh, in the in the left side, there is uh, the, some new technical is uh, uh, give give people a very high expectation, but actually they will be uh, down uh, down the, the expectation for after they 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 uh, 
uh, past the, the uh, to the to the top top point. Yeah, like the data catalog is pretty hot in recent years. Uh, also, like the data as a service, yes, it's um, uh, almost everyone is uh, talking about it. And the uh, self-service data provision, uh, there's a lot of per vendor in here. It's a staff staff company like the uh, Perlex, Timer, yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, the blockchain, yeah, quite quite hot. Yeah, uh, data leak. Ah, uh, Spark is um, yes, like the Hadoop, but uh, is uh, give the uh, least uh, IO uh, operation, uh, mostly the uh, the storage stay in the memory, uh, key value database, uh, yeah, auto loading, yeah. So ah, uh, these are the Hadoop circle interface, yeah. This is um, uh, quite hot in China in th this year. Um, yeah, so that is uh, the, the the trend for for some new technical in the data management. Uh, uh, so in the today topics, we will be cover like the metadata management solution, uh, the master data management, uh, logical data warehouse. Uh, for some new technical, is a data catalog, uh, self service data configuration, uh, multi modal uh, database. Yeah, I was, uh, those kind of uh, also include the information state worksheet publication. Yeah, like like the Colibra in the market. Yeah. Can I, uh, just one thing, like with the master data management and the uh, enterprise or the metadata management. Right now, that's really far more solid on the relational side than on the non-relational side, like NoSQL. Is that true? Uh, sorry, Peter, I don't get you. Can you repeat again? Master data management is uh -huh. mostly yeah. well-defined in relational databases, not so much in uh -huh. NoSQL. And the same um, thing with metadata management solutions. It's Yeah, this is a very interesting topic. Um, yeah, actually, uh, you might uh, Orinto, um uh, concept is uh, I'm definitely uh, agree the master data should be uh, storage in the in the relational database. But uh, in some in some case, I'm um, uh, discuss with some of our customers, uh, some uh, energy, energy uh, company. They are talking uh, they facing some challenge for the master data management. Is um, uh, they have a lot of um, uh, wonder in the outside, not in in their in, in, internet. Uh, but their master data is story in their internet, but they don't want to um, uh, share the the, the, the internal uh, internal network to to the to the, to the external vendor. So they are consider is uh, using the blockchain to building their master data. Okay. Yeah, because because um, the blockchain they are when. Um, important feature they are consi consider is uh, the vault. Because uh, if you 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 are your external vendor, they are using uh, mostly. Uh, for example, it's eighteen percent using one one master data. They will be considered automatically include this uh, uh, master data into their internal uh, master data. Yeah. So it is a automatically vote and the, the, the uh, uh, selected the the, the uh, official delay uh, master master data. Yeah, that they, they want to leverage some new technical to think out their master data challenge. Yeah, so so yeah, this is a very interesting uh, topics we, we may find another day to to discuss. It's a lot of topics. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. So, so if everybody have any question, you you, you just uh, break me. Yeah. And uh, I'm, uh, because I'm not a uh, native English speaker, so uh, if you have any question, you can uh, send an email to me after this uh, this uh, this session. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so uh, we 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 talking about a lot of challenge for the data management in enterprise. Um, yeah, actually, the the the, the real uh, real situation is more complex. Not only the technical, but also the the people. <laughs> yeah, the, some uh, political challenge uh, because the, the different departments, if you want to. Uh, uh, push your policy to, 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 to the entire company, and that is a yeah, very challenge. Um, yeah, so, so, Dama, so, so I very well want to introduce is, um, the one of uh, uh, important organization uh, in, 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 the, in this industry. So, Dama is uh, the Data Management Association International for, found in the, in the uh, 1988, yeah, where old company, <laughs> old organization. Yeah, actually, it is a not uh, commercial, commercial organization that is a no profit. Um, yeah, uh, so so that is um, the 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 vision or the goal of this organization is that they are um, uh, associate association uh, uh, to the uh, so the data professional and give some help for the industry and share their best practice to the industry. So 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 that is that they are come coming a guide. It's a data management data management guide. It's a DM book. Uh, yeah, I think uh, so. So the so, so they are called the Dama DM book. It's a data 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 management body of the knowledge. Uh, so the, uh, they are just released the uh, uh, DM book version two. Uh, yes, in the last uh, last year, uh, July uh, two thousand seventeen, a uh, lot of change. I think it's a um, very Useful, very useful. So they are trying to give a, a, st a structure, or uh, if you follow this uh, structure, your enterprise the data management mature, uh, mature level will be controlled. Yeah, this is the fundamental uh, concept for for the uh, DM book. Uh, yes, I'm, I also to participate the translate uh, the DM book version two to the Chinese uh, at this time. So the, here is uh, the structure uh, for the DM book. Uh, so in the center, that is uh, the data governments. The this data governments is um, uh, um, I, I call it as a small a small data, data governments. Uh, they are trying to measure uh, the the outside the cycle uh, the. 10, uh, 10 measurement, 10 measurement. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, included data architecture, data modeling, uh, data storage, operation, uh, data security, data integration, uh, document and content, reference and math data, uh, data warehouse and BI, uh, metadata and data quality. So uh, data governments, uh, this uh, dimension is uh, try to measure uh, everything, uh, every uh, another 10, 10, 10 uh, dimension. Uh, uh, if they are, they are, uh, uh, what is the, the score, what is the level uh, they are processed. Um, I think I will know, the, in this session, we don't have a, the enough time to, to ex, uh, ex, explain everything. If you, you are interested, you can uh, find out, uh, find, find out, uh, find out an e-book or some hard paper, a DM book uh, for, for uh, give a more study. Um, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, so with this uh, 11 uh, activity in the center, in the yellow uh, rectangle, uh, so in this, uh, uh, this is a workflow, how to leverage the 11 activity. Uh, so in the left side, there have the input. Input is coming from the uh, supply row and the response, uh, response row. Uh, they are input the, the rule and the standard regulation model. Uh, that is a, uh, everything in the reality is their uh, business, such as uh, if you are financing, uh, financing a company or if you are manufacturing a uh, uh, company, uh, the rule, the standard, the regulations are pretty different. Uh, so you need to input uh, uh, those kind of the requirement. After them, uh, you uh, into uh, go into uh, input to the uh, eleven activity and also need the leverage some uh, two side two side and some technical to help you to manage your raw data. Um, 
after that, the, the, the output is that you will have the management manager uh, process rule standard model and uh, deliver deliver uh, the manager the data deliver the manager uh, measurement uh, back to the consumer rule uh, and stakeholder maybe a data analytic uh, a team maybe it's a uh, uh, some uh, uh, con controller, uh, financing controller, or some uh, con con controller uh, uh, organization. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if you uh, interesting uh, growth your career uh, in the data management, so I think the the CDMP is one of the uh, certification you 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 can consider. Uh, that is a uh, uh, coming from the DAMA, uh, from the uh, this uh, data management organization. Uh, so they are certified uh, for the data management for professional. Uh, yeah, so design uh, design the award by the DAMA. Uh, they are provide uh, actually it's at a three level. It's a association uh, participant and the master. So here's the the certification. Yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, actually the DAMA they are uh, give the annual annual meeting, so they are called EDW Enterprise Data Data, data World. Uh, so in the last last year it's in the Atlantic, so you can see uh, the mostly uh, hot topics is talking talk about the, the data governments and the state world. Uh, also talking about the uh, data strategy, no circle, BI, uh, data modeling, big data, those kind of uh, the topics. So uh, that is um, uh, uh, important, the most important um, uh, conference for the data management in each year. Um, yeah. Okay, and in this year, so in the 2018, so in the April, uh, have a, the the EDW 2018 in the San Diego. So I will give a, a presentation in here. It's a case study we bank uh, this government's practice. Yeah. So we we bank is about the uh, 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 internet uh, internet banking. Yeah. Funding from the Tencent. Okay, uh, that is uh, the data management, uh, some some uh, fundamental knowledge. Okay, if uh, any questions? Are there any questions from the group? Let's um, continue. There's been some technical difficulty with some of the slides, but they're showing perfectly on my monitor and it's being recorded, so I will share it with everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in the last session, they're talking about the no circle uh, technical and the data modeling. Yeah. So we, we have introduced the uh, relational data database. That is that um, uh, have a, a principle in the back end in the 20, maybe 25 years ago. Is that the uh, normalize, normalization? Yeah, make sure uh, every data is a uh, uh, separate, no duplicate. Yeah, such as uh, uh, in this case, is that you have uh, the address information, uh, but the the state or the zip code is a uh, duplicate if you don't separate the address information from the user info. Yeah, so that is uh, why we need data modeling. Is uh, the normalize and the denormalize. Uh, yeah, this uh, the traditional data modeling. We are following the three uh, three normalization uh, formal, and to support the ACID, uh, it's uh, auto. Uh, I will will not uh, uh, read one by one. So CAP concept is a consistency partition availability. Uh, as I have answered the question, uh, Peter's question before. Uh, yeah, so let me quick explain what is the CAP concept. Uh, basically, the CAP concept, that means is that uh, there have a three uh, uh, dimension, but uh, you always can choose two of the three uh, of the, those dimension. Uh, you cannot uh, own the three dimension uh, in the same time. Yeah, that is uh, the C C CAP principle. Uh, why? I will explain that. 
So there, uh, have an example is uh, if I want to buy a book from the Amazon, but there are two people is uh, try to buy a book, uh, A and B in a different point because the data is dis distributed in the two uh, two data node. Uh, so at this time, uh, A A people is uh, they are, uh, make an order uh, a book from the node one. Uh, so the the node one is a changed value from v zero to v one, right? After then the uh, node n one will be sync up the data to the n two, right? After then, so the b is request that the book number will be get the v one, right? So that is uh, the the normal case is um, how to work in the distributed uh, data system. But however, so there have some specific cases that the network is disconnected. Um, so once the A people, they are ordered the book and change the value from V0 to V1, but the V1 cannot, cannot sync up to the node 2, right? So how we can answer the, the, the B is a, it's an answer to V0 or not answer. Yeah, that is a, the, 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 the question for the CAP, right? So that is a why you only can choose two of the three CAP uh, dimension. Yeah, so what happened, uh, how we can respond B at this time? Yeah, so first one is that we can answer the V0, right? But this is maybe it's a wrong, wrong answer. So that means is that we are abandoned consistency, right? And the second is that I, I will be not response. I will, you right, until the, the network is recovered. That is a, means that is that we are abandoned availability, right? And the third, third choice is that I will not choice this distributed data architect. I will back to the centralized architect. Everything is in a single point. That is a means is a, I can always is a, have a one data in a one single point, and I I can always to give, give the answer, give the right answer. Yeah, yeah. So that is a, the CP concept. So yeah, you can you have to uh, abandon one of one of the dimension. Yeah, and leave the another one. Yeah, if you try the CNA, that means is um, you you have to put everything to the single point. And uh, another one is uh, in, uh, in you are abandoned uh, inconsistency, right? Yeah, but uh, sometimes is that uh, you you don't need to have a strong consistency like the the, the financing business. Yeah, if you are internet, sometimes it uh, gets you something wrong. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, and another one is uh, the uh, abandoned availability because uh, there are some some cases that you 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 just run the report in the in the in the weekly, so you can abandon the availability. You don't need to have a uh, response some some request in the within one second, right? There is there is the there is the, the, the CAP, uh, 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 concept and wonder. Yeah, in, in each line in the, this rectangle, each line is uh, have some wonder. Like the relational database, they are always support the CNA, uh, and uh, like the Cassandra and the coach base, they are support the AP. Uh, and the, the select MongoDB, HBase, big, da uh, big table, they are supported the uh, CP case. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the, what is the strong consistency? Is um, if I have uh, the data and I think up to the uh, 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 slaver node, and another one, they, they can find the data. That is that the strong cons consistency. So what is the eventually consistency? So is that I have a data put to the master node. After that, I will sync up the, this data to the server node, but not reached, reached yet. And uh, another people, they cannot find the data. So they have to wait it, but eventually they will get the right data. Yeah, yeah, so that is um, the, uh, CAP concept and uh, the consistency, yeah. 
maybe this is a um, uh, advanced technical. So ho hopefully everyone can get some uh, yeah idea and uh, yeah hopefully that is available uh, available for everyone. So I will go to uh, last one is uh, the NoSQL data modeling. Um, yeah, so for the data modeling, that is um, uh, quite in, important for the uh, I, I IT system because that is um, uh, described the uh, data requirement. Also, it's described the data format. So if you make some reporting, you have to check the data modeling. If you you make the, some analytic and uh, auditor. You have to check the data model. Model, yeah. So that is an uh, important uh, uh, document or information for the enterprise. And data model actually they are, uh, have uh, the concept model, logic model, design uh, pattern, yeah. And the data model will be uh, lineage to the business glossary. Also the uh, described uh, the database uh, life cycle. Yeah. That is um, uh, actually the two uh, two lineage. One is the semantic lineage, and another is the data flow lineage. Yeah. So for the NoSQL database, actually it is uh, out of the data management control because uh, that is uh, using by the programmer, uh, but uh, uh, the data is still using by the data analyzer. Analyzer, so so they, they need a data model, data model just for for, for describe the data structure. After them, they can use in the data model uh, by by the data data analyzer. Yeah, how to how to uh, extract the data, how to use it using the data. Uh, actually, so we have a, a research project in the last two years with Tsinghua University. Uh, to find finding out a unified data, a unified model for describe the relig relational database and no circle. Uh, yeah, so we come out some Python and the paper. Actually, our paper is uh, selected in the IEEE uh, Big Data Congress. Uh, also, have uh, some Python is uh, published. Yeah, yeah. If you want to understand more, you can yes check those uh, those uh, Python and, and article. Um, yeah, so in the industry, so MongoDB, they are, uh, promote their custom uh, using the data model before they are put data into the, their database. Uh, yeah, actually, so for the data model, it's a different between the relational database and NoSQL. It's a relational database, you need to have a design first. After them, you generate the data. But for the uh, new circle database, you can generate the, or storage the data first. After them, you need to have the data model and consider how to use the data. So we call it a schema on read. And the traditional the data modeling uh, the approach is a, we call it a, a schema on write. So before the data generate, you need to have a schema. Um, I think I will will be not to go through those uh, slides one by one uh, because that's a quite uh, uh, technical detail. Uh, so in the relational database, we call it uh, the ER antecedent relationship, and in the North circle, there are uh, many types. It's a document, column, oriental, key value, and a graphic. And the uh, uh, schema is a, uh, in the relational database is a schema predefined, but no circle is a schema list. You don't need to have a defined schema before you generate the data. So that is uh, the fundamental difference. Um, yeah. So in the relational database, the table uh, is at the physical level. In the no circle, it's a could be have a, a four type uh, four types, right? Uh, but in the uh, abstracting to the logical model, it is that the same uh, same concept is entity entity instance attribute domain. Yeah, so we can unify uh, the difference between the relational database and no circle, uh, the physical different different to the logical uh, model. Um, yeah, so that is uh, what looks like in the ER diagram in the relational re relational database. And this is what it looks like in the document database. So, so the challenge for the NoSQL database is because since you don't need to define the schema, so you can generate data. So that means that the data could be different. Yeah, in the this case is the professional team. 
uh, they have three child in the first document, right? Coach, player, uh, president. And second record, they only have uh, two child. And uh, the third, third document, they have uh, the third child but different name. Coach, player, but have uh, the manager. Yeah. So how we can find the common uh, schema? Yeah, that is a need to leverage the machine learning and the uh, aggregation uh, approach to, to uh, figure out the, what is the common uh, schema for the North Dakota database. Yeah, so that is a, a some uh, result, but the, uh, the aggregate uh, approach could be uh, leverage, could be changed, and adjust uh, based on your requirement. Mm, yeah, column family, uh, database, key value database, graphic database, or yeah, everything could be uh, uh, described by the logic model and uh, you leverage the machine learning, uh, uh, go through extracted uh, every data for extracted the schema. Yeah, so you, so finally we coming out uh, the uh, this uh, this model is a uh, unified data model, and uh, we we already fill the uh, paper and the pattern for this um, uh, unified model for described uh, the uh, regional database based on the North Circle uh, in 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 the in this um, uh, this design. Uh, there are two level. It's a unified model and a physical model. A unified model is a include some uh, basic concept model, productive, uh, pro uh, production data characters, query pattern, uh, semantic semantic uh, context. Yeah. yeah. So here is uh, the example. What it uh, looks like uh, for the unified data in our uh, product in our data model. Um. Yeah. So so uh, our Companies um, uh, provide some uh, product is uh, on the data catalog, data preparation, data quality, and the data modeling. Um, yeah, so that is at uh, the last slide. So uh, we are uh, a startup company, uh, data, data Blow Inc. We are focused on the next generation uh, data modeling tools. And we have a headquarter in Beijing and have an office in Shanghai and uh, Urban. Um, yeah, our investor is a uh, uh, very hyper. Uh, if you have uh, some interesting to uh, understand some more uh, information about the, the North Dakota data modeling and the data modeling, you can visit our official uh, website, dataflow.com. And my personal email is in here, it's a, a Gmail a mailbox. Uh, yeah, so, so any questions? Yeah, I think that is my presentation. Any question? So I guess I want to ask one question. Um, mm -hmm. With the schema list, let's say I'm I'm assuming it in in the NoSQL environment. Um, mm -hmm. If you go back one, that one is this uh, where the model uh, that you had, like there, this with one? the reverse engineering, where you just had the reverse engineering. Okay. Mm-hmm. So basically, you're assessing the what is the maximized schema of all of the data within within the uh, document. Um, yeah, actually, you can um, uh, uh, consider it um, like the statistic. If we don't consider uh, talking about the machine learning, because that is a, the a black box. That is a too too complex. We just consider it a statistic. So maximum is um, uh, if this uh, schema, this uh, structure is uh, 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 existing here, even if it's uh, just one time, we will consider that is a uh, the, the, the that is a is a schema. Uh, so so that is uh, the the for foresight foresight uh, for 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 the for the uh, for the uh, for the column for the column. Yeah, and uh, but uh, uh, if you leverage some machine learning uh, technical uh, so for aggregate uh, uh, the, the schema, so you can uh, come out some maybe more reasonable the, the schema, right? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm answer a question. I think that mm -hmm. answers my question. Thank you. Okay. Hi, I have a question. Um, sure. 
do you see a NoSQL database eventually replacing a um, relational database? Uh, yeah, so actually this is a question that for C CAP. Uh, actually, uh, you can see mostly the uh, no circle or new circle databases using by the uh, internet company. Yeah, but for the financing or some traditional companies, they are still stay in the relational database because um, they are uh, 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 for the for the uh, consistency is that required for them. Yeah, for the financing, the consistency is required for them. So they have to consider uh, choices are uh, availability and uh, consistency. Yeah, like the banking, they are, they are the the the, uh, the banking system, the kernel banking system. They are always choices are uh, they they are availability and the, the, the consistency. If they are the the ATM is not availability, <laughs> everybody will be waiting in here, right? If you your account is a, is a, uh, wrong, something wrong, is that you everybody is not accepted. So yeah, some some industry they have to choice the relational database. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. And and one more question. Um, mm -hmm. There is a term called in-memory database. Mm -hmm. it, what's its relationship between that and the NoSQL? Or uh, that could be relational database or NoSQL, depend on uh, uh, depend on the, the, the database. They they, uh, they can actually they can uh, storage in the disk or also storage in the memory. So, yeah, but the structure could be a uh, relational database or no circle. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is a metrics. Metric. Uh -huh. So I have Thanks. one more question to follow up on that. So there's a new new sequel, which seems to be trying to make a, a play in the marketplace. And um, new sequel offers supposedly the same scalability as no sequel, but provides SQL and ACID in this distributed mm -hmm. environment. So how does that play, you know, in the market now, if you can get the best of the relational world, but still having all of the features that you could get in NoSQL and have ACID as part of it? Yeah, Peter, you, you can see uh, in here, try to... Uh... So, they have these new SQL databases. One is CockroachDB, VaultDB, um, and and they yeah. So fully here is a new Hadoop circle interface. Yeah, there was some vendor that provided the circle, uh, T circle standard uh, interface for the no circle database, like the Hadoop circle interface. Okay. There are, yeah, some open source project like the Presto. Yeah, some yeah open source project is a, uh, like the uh, Spark. They also provide the uh, Spark Circle. Spark Circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, yes, yeah, they have uh, the Circle interface for the NoSQL database. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much um, for your time. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. Sure. Yeah, uh, I just want to ask this one quick question before uh, the meeting ends. Um, mm -hmm. I'm having difficulty understanding why would you go to NoSQL instead of relational databases? Because by the looks of it, NoSQL doesn't really have uh, enough of a benefit to warrant not using relational databases. Uh, no circle. Yeah, they, you'll be back to the CAP. Yeah, no circle is um, because that is a scale out. Yeah, if you have um, uh, like the Google, right? You have a uh, the the p p uh, t gigabyte the data, but you want to get the answer, get the response quickly. Yeah, you have to move the data to the multiple uh, point uh, point, right? Computer point. So you need the using the partition uh, data partition. Yeah, you leverage the thousands 
uh, uh, machine to help you make the search, and you will be get the answer uh, within second, right? Okay. So let, yeah, that is the fundamental why we, we leverage the, the 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 new circle database. So does this actually uh, does this actually uh, is this more profitable than using a relational database? Like would this save more money than if you were to use one giant like server to do everything? Uh, I think that is um uh from if you, you uh have a huge uh data I think it's a maybe similar similar bar rate. Uh, using the single point uh, in the relational database or thousands uh, small machine in the no circle database. Basically, the cost is the similar in the similar level. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know, Jason, one of the things that you have to make it they have a thing called a feasibility study, which is part of planning. And then you have to understand the problem you're trying to solve. And then you can choose the database, whether it's relational or non-relational. And you know that there are pros and cons to both. And then basically you're going to say what best meets your needs. And then you live with the inadequacies or workarounds that you have to do based upon your decision of which database you choose. So it really comes down to your, your decision by the pros and cons of what you get from each of the databases that are in the running to, to resolve the problem for you. Okay, that, that makes sense. It's just, it seems like you have to put a lot of thought into it beforehand so that way you can avoid making any mistakes later on. And you know what? I think that's the key point to this session. The whole point is that it's about planning, design, and data. And from there, you build up to your application. Yeah. You don't start at the roof. You start by building the foundation. Yeah. So, Alan, I really appreciate that you took the time to share this information with the students. And yeah, my, my, my honors too, my honors too. Yeah, thanks, Peter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording now.